Hey everyone, this is Mike, and today is going to be a short video to show you where you can upgrade your gear while you're leveling, starting between levels 1 and 50. For this level range, we can head to one of the three big cities, Limsa, Gridania, and Hulda. Each city will have an NPC that sells you weapons, another that sells you armor, and a third that sells you accessories. Now, this is the only level range that is a little bit different from the others, because there's 50 levels before you hit the endgame gear set, compared to the 10 that we'll have from level 50 onwards. So my advice would be to check your gear every 10 to 15 levels and see what needs upgrading and also what you can upgrade when taking a look at the different gear that is available from each vendor. In the early levels it doesn't matter as much but once you pass the level 40 mark see what you can upgrade as some of the dungeons that are closer to level 50 can be a bit punishing when you're under geared. Arm Veil is a great example of this because it can be really stressful on your healer not just because of people not knowing the mechanic but even when they're doing the mechanic right it's still going to require a fair amount of healing and when you're under geared this can be quite tricky and then if you add to that the fact that people might not know the mechanic then it can be really hard to keep your group alive. Moving on to level 50. Once you hit this point, we can grab our first endgame gear set, and this can be bought with Tomstos of Poetics in Mordona. It's going to be the Ironworks gear that we want to grab. Since a more recent update, they've also made it easier to grab the upgraded versions of this, because back in the day you needed to buy the base gear and then upgrade items, then combine them. Now you can just straight up buy the upgraded versions, which will also be the same for all of the other endgame gear sets, excluding our level 80 gear. So that's it for level 50. For level 60 we can head over to Idleshire where we can buy the augmented Shire gear, again same deal as before, two different NPCs, one for the armor, one for the weapons, and all of them can be bought with Poetics. Then for level 70 we can head over to Ralgar's Reach where we can buy the augmented Skaven gear. The reason why I'm not showing places to upgrade gear between these endgame sets is because it's not really going to be much of an upgrade. An endgame set lasts for about 6 to 7 levels I believe, and then you can find some slight upgrades but the item level increase is going to be so minor that I wouldn't worry about it too much. If you get some gear from a dungeon or from a quest then by all means use it and if you really want to always have the best gear available then you can of course go through the different zones of set expansion and look for the NPC that will sell you the highest item level gear available. And then we still have a level 80 gear of course which is going to be a little bit different for now because it is still our current endgame content so for this you're either gonna have to get your gear from Savage Raids or buy the base tombstone gear that is locked by behind the weekly tombstone and then upgrade it through hunting, doing the 24 man raids or through doing the savage raids because that is another way that you can also get the upgrade items. And then you can combine the upgrade item with the base tombstone gear to get the maximum item level available. And that's going to do it for this video so if you have any more questions then feel free to leave a comment down below but for now I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my patrons for their support and I'll see you in the next one.